it is West Ham 1, Manchester United 0. West Ham blowing bubbles on our blood clot face, bruv, all day and just been popping on our face like pop, pop, pop throughout the whole 90 minutes because that match, that match, Manchester United did not have the balls to win the game like this. A important game after flopping against Brighton and them men, Brighton Munich. You just think today, listen, boys. We need to pull our socks together, you know. Newcastle just lost against Arsenal. Every team is coming up, you know. Liverpool are coming up. They're smelling our asses. They're just right behind us, you know, trying to get that Champions League place. Tottenham as well and everyone else. But guess what, Manchester United fans? Manchester United fans. Manchester United have flopped again. Flopped up again. One more time. Dropping points. Three points against West Ham. West Ham, who are on one of the poorest sides in the Premier League. Fighting relegation. Yes, we know we have to go there. We're playing against a relegation team. And we know our form away from is poor. But today's a game where you think, yeah, we're going to win this. 1-0, simple, Sunday, 6, 7 o'clock, kickoff, you know. We can do this. We got this. It's all in our hands, you know. No, it wasn't. We flopped Manchester United all because of one guy. David De Gea. David De Gea. This guy cost us today. You cost us everything. This guy is shit. And he's allowing us, he's conceded a lot of the goals in terms of making mistakes. Four mistakes, the most out of all Premier League. One joint top with Lou Hugo Lloris, making mistakes, error leading to goals. David De Gea, we cost him with this and saying that he can't come out playing with the ball from the back. And look at him now. Cost us this game, a goal from Benarama. Guys, today has just been shambolic. We couldn't create choices, we couldn't save anything. In terms of being on the ball, in terms of that first off, Manchester United in the first 45 minutes where I thought Manchester United couldn't threat. Couldn't hurt a fly. Not at all. Couldn't do nothing against anyone. You know, unable to create chances in the first 45 minutes. You know what? Sometimes the ball passing around, passing around, passing around, passing around, passing around. We're playing pass to parcel, bro. And we're not even turning up the music at all for anyone to unwrap the present because we couldn't take our chances. And you know what's so funny? Manchester United had about 14 or 15 attempts on goals. But where did I see it? I didn't see any chances. I didn't see anything. We didn't do fuck all. It's all fake. The statistics are fake. 419 on the stats today. I did not believe it. Manchester United 45 minutes. And then the goal that we conceded. Panorama taking a long shot. And Butterfingers David De here attempting to dive and then boop, boop. The ball coming off his fucking tip, fit, tip, tips. Fucking fingertips, bro. The, this guy has let us down. And the go it just we just conceded that goal like it was nothing. David De Gea knew it. It was absolutely his fault. But the boys, the midfield, our midfield today was absolutely non-existent at times, bro. Especially in the second half. Half time it was nil it was one nil. We we knew. You know what? This is long for us. Rashford ain't playing today. Rashford is not doing his thing. And where course, oh, it's a joke at time. Peter Crouch esque footballer, bruv. No, second off, we just we just didn't do anything. West Ham looked at the better team. In fact, I was seeing it. I saw two you know coming towards us. Towards us at all. I saw it. West Ham was going to score that second goal. And we was lucky not to concede the second goal. But Manchester United for the whole 90 minutes was absolutely poor. And Eric Tenog is probably pissed off. Like, he's going to have a go at them. Manchester United making mistakes today. Not taking any chance. Not creating anything at all. Not at all. Oh, in midfield, in terms of players, Bruno Fernandes and Christian Eriksen and Casemiro was shit. No, Casemiro was all right. Ericsson was okay at times, but Bruno Fernandes himself, he was poor. Like, this guy cannot, he cannot lead us in terms of midfield. He's not a playmaker. Defensive-wise, we were so poor as well, especially Malaysia getting moved to as well, and Aaron Bissaka being open, and Lindelof as well almost got a handball, and to me, that was a handball. But Manchester United overall have been the worst today. This was one of the worst performances I've seen so far especially in the, the away games this has to be up there Manchester United were poor Ten Hag is pissed I'm pissed you ruined my bank holiday there was a coronation and we were trying to burst the bubbles we did not burst no bubbles today we just got the bubbles in our face like, like where's the bubbles coming from and I can't see I can't see man oh Manchester United fans Manchester United holics 
it's just, this is it, bro. All we have to say is just, you know what? Hopefully we can win the rest of our home games and not fuck up because I can see it now. If we mess up, we're going to lose our fourth position because this was an opportunity for us to get to third place, especially when Newcastle lost. It is what it is, man. All right. Anyway, boys, this has been your match reaction from your boy, Alfred and Spice. Do let me know who your man the match is as well, because I ain't got no man the match. Let me know who your donkey of the match is as well. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments. And do tune in tomorrow for the catch-up as well. We are back live. Oh, guys, I'm done. Like, I'm tired of this shit, bro. We, we, we flop, man. Anyway, it's your boy. I'm out. Subscribe, smash that like button, press that notification bell. Till next time. Till tomorrow. Peace.